Hello and welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Stephen and today we're back on the F-150. I actually just got done doing my first ever live stream. Never done one of those before uh, and I really kind of enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it as well, uh, let me know and uh, I'll probably go ahead and do some more of those in the future. But uh, anyway, I'm back on the F-150 and it is time to start getting this thing rebuilt. Just in case you didn't catch the live stream, I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera around and kind of show you what we're working with. I uh, got it back from um, Jack, my frame and paint guy, uh, and he did a fantastic job. So I want to show you uh, kind of what the state of the truck is right now and, uh, and then what I need to get into and uh, then get to work. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause the video real quick and interrupt for just a second because I have a little bit of footage from while the truck was at Jack's frame shop. I have a little bit of a video update from when he first got started on it, and then I've got um, a few little um, video clips that I took at different times along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some video from while the truck was over at the frame shop so you can see a little bit of that process, and then we'll get right back to this video. So hang tight, and I hope you enjoy this little sneak peek of what happened while it was in the frame shop. All right, quick update from the frame shop. We're actually starting here with our parts donor truck, and uh, you can see Jack already has uh, the bottom here, uh, the bot I don't even know what you call that, but the bottom panel that comes underneath the core support, and of course uh, this rail here that comes down uh, just like that one. Actually, it's right here, and uh, it's ready to go on my truck back there. So I uh, spent uh, quite a bit of time yesterday tearing all this down. Of course, I uh, also took the doors off the donor. There's the driver's door over here, and then uh, back over here, I have been working on uh, prepping the rear door for uh, jamming in so it's all been stripped out and working on sanding it just a little bit more to go there uh, You can see uh, one of my fenders there. I don't know where the other one is. It's somewhere around here uh, But then coming on over here uh, To my truck where you can see uh, Jack has already begun setting in this bottom uh, Plate or whatever this is uh, And this is kind of prepped and almost ready to accept the new one uh, he'll have to do a little reshaping here on the top part because this one it would be very difficult to get it out uh, this one though he can uh, just cut the spot welds out that'll come out and the new one can slot right in so no big deal there uh, kind of had to actually build this little corner and this is where Jack's uh, uh, frame shop magic and experience comes into play uh, because my donor truck actually has been uh, wrecked and rebuilt once before in its former life and uh, the previous shop that did that work really didn't do that great a job so when I stripped everything off this corner was all jacked up and looking bad which is a bummer but he was able to take the rest of this which was straight cut that out and basically rebuild that corner um, and it looks as you can see basically like the factory one over here. Uh, he does excellent, excellent work. As you can see over here, he was able to get the doors off, no problem. Uh, after we get, uh, after I get these doors prepped, uh, we'll then of course test fit them, see uh, if this B pillar needs any help. I'm pretty sure the A pillar is fine. B pillar is questionable. And of course, coming back here, we also have uh, this that needs to be cut out and uh, he's going to try to salvage the bed. So to fix this, of course, this whole bed's going to slide back. Um, we'll have to take out the rear window, which will be fun, and then cut out this corner and, uh, of course, do the same thing with my parts truck over there so that it can be sectioned in. So hopefully that's all we need to do. Really hoping we don't have to uh, take the B-pillar skin off of this truck as well. So I'm going to get back to work, but uh, we're making some good progress over here. And probably by tomorrow, Jack will have uh, that corner put back together on the front end. It'll be basically done and he can move on to the side. Alright, I'm actually going to go ahead and start here on this side because as you may recall, this is the side that was side swiped. In fact, it was hit 
from uh, this tail light all the way to the headlight there and uh, messed up the tail light, messed up the bed. Of course, you may recall that both of these doors were uh, jammed shut, couldn't even get them off. Of course, messed up the fender and the headlight as well and my running board. And uh, so you can see that Jack has done a fantastic job. Both of these doors are from my donor truck. And uh, of course he had to uh, pull the B pillar out. It was pushed in some uh, and tweaked the hinges as well. But as you can see, uh, we have fantastic body gaps. Everything is lining up really, really nice. Uh, and um, doors shut and latch just fine. Uh, everything looks fantastic. Of course, uh, you may also recall that as it, uh, the side swipe came along, it pretty well took out this part uh, of the B pillar. And uh, Jack, so he cut out this part uh, of the cab from our, our donor and then of course uh, replaced it and you cannot tell. Uh, it was cut somewhere up in, uh, I don't know, this range thereabouts and of course then all the way down to the bottom and uh, you cannot tell where it was done. Jack is an absolute uh, artist and magician there with uh, his, his body work. 50 years of experience will do that. This bed is the original bed and uh, we did repair it. Thought about taking the bed off the donor truck but then we would have had to paint the entire thing. Uh, plus, this bed already has uh, a spray and bed liner. That one didn't. So he went ahead and repaired this. And again, you can't tell. There were scuffs and scrapes and minor dents all the way down. The worst of it was right here. And uh, I'll go ahead and insert a little bit of footage showing you uh, some of the work that was done there. But Jack uses old school techniques, uh, which I love. There are some up and comers that are uh, some young guys that are learning to do some really good body work, uh, but it's hard to replace 50 years of uh, just experience doing it. And uh, a lot of folks nowadays are just throwing parts away, but Jack knows how to fix them and he fixes them right. So that is awesome. Uh, moving along here to the front, of course you can see everything's taken apart there, but uh, here in the front, this hood is off the donor truck as well. And uh, so both of these fenders have been replaced as well as the hood uh, from the donor truck and uh, looks fantastic. Hood is on there, everything works great. I do need to shift it that way a little bit. That gap's a little bit smaller uh, than that one, but uh, just a little tweak will take care of that. But otherwise, looks fantastic. Here uh, inside, we can take a look and you can see over here uh, where this uh, tube style apron rail uh, was you remember that was smashed in here pretty bad right here pushed all of the battery in and all of that of course destroyed uh, my core support and the radiator and all that well all of that has been replaced from the donor truck everything's nice and straight and of course our replacement fender looks good as well uh, as many parts as we replaced on this truck the only things that haven't been painted are the roof that back door this, this side of the bed and then of course the tailgate uh, everything else has been painted, or this door was blended, uh, but everything else was painted. But Jack does a fantastic job. Now, as far as accident damage, there's only one other thing that I still need to repair, uh, and that is here in the engine bay. And you can see uh, this sensor here got broken. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. I believe it has something to do with uh, the valve timing or something like that. Uh, so I am going to have to fix that. And uh, I believe I'm unfortunately going to have to take the valve cover off to do it. But the truck does run just fine. Um, it's just going to be a little extra work for me. Now, I'm actually going to get started, though, inside the truck uh, because, well... The interior is pretty tore up, and uh, I've only got one door, that one over there, uh, that hasn't been taken apart, so I need to get door handles in it so that I can use it a little easier and get the interior put back together because it is totally unusable right now. Uh, here, let me, uh, let me pop this door and show you what we got inside. All right, looking at the inside, of course the back is the worst of it because we had to uh, take apart this entire uh, back end so that we could take that glass out. Of course, had to take the glass out uh, so that Jack could do his work here on this cab corner. Uh, the glass had to come out, the bed had to come off, which bed had to come off to fix it anyway. Uh, but we got the glass back in, but it is now time uh, for me to go ahead and start getting to reassembly because it is tore up. Of course, we also had to take apart uh, the seat belt and all the stuff here on this B pillar so that it could be pulled back out. Uh, so I've got that to put back together, doors, so on and so forth. So enough talking. That's the state of the truck right now. I'm going to go ahead and put this camera on a tripod and get to work. Uh, looks to me like there's a storm coming in, so uh, hopefully I'll get to work for a little while. 
but uh, I'm gonna get to work and I'll give you an update here in a little while. thought ahead I would have known that I should have uh, hooked up the uh, the unlatch mechanism on the inside before putting the handle on but you know live and learn so anyway got a door handle working so I now have two uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this uh, inner panel back on and get this door buttoned up and then we'll move to the other side This door is done well it's done for now I didn't actually fully attach it it's clipped on on the inside and I've got one bolt right here uh, in the door handle uh, so it up everything's functional now but uh, I am gonna end up having to take this thing back off at some point because uh, I have a few things coming uh, for this door in the future uh, but today I'm just trying to get it buttoned up and functional so uh, I think we've accomplished that so rain hasn't arrived yet so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the other side of the truck now and uh, Job done here, let's move on. Brand new door handles for this side, both front and rear, uh, because mine were destroyed. And uh, the donor truck came with just straight black. This one had the chrome handles and I kind of like them. So uh, brand new door handles for both on this side. Let's get this one put back together. Here's the rain, so I'm gonna have to pause for a little while. We'll get back on that door in a few. And uh, in the meantime, uh, hang tight, we'll be right back. All right, the rain is gone. It's a beautiful afternoon now. Uh, went ahead and finished these doors up off camera because you guys have seen enough of that, I'm sure. It's just a lot more of the same. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, these are not actually fully installed. They're clipped on there, uh, but you can see I haven't fully installed them. Left some trim off here. Um, same thing here I didn't fully bolt it down or anything but I got everything kind of installed and usable um, and the reason I didn't fully do uh, fully tighten them down uh, is because I do still have uh, I still have to take them back off I still have some things I'm gonna be doing in there that we'll get into in another episode so now the doors are done I have brand new door handles out here looks fantastic uh, and uh, of course it's fully functional now which is awesome uh, now that I have the doors buttoned up and functional again it is time to tackle uh, this scary mess so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set you guys up on a camera with a time-lapse I am gonna get it opened up and uh, try to go ahead and start emptying it out and then get in there and start putting things together. Uh, I will probably be starting by finishing uh, putting this window back. Uh, of course, the window itself is installed, but I need to get the defrost hooked up and the power hooked up. Uh, and then I need to put the seatbelt in, and then I can button up this back area, the headliner and all that and get the seats back and uh, then we can move on. But I think just getting that much done will really make the interior functional again. So that is my goal for this afternoon. So enough talking. It's time for me to get back to work.
All right, quick status update. I've got the uh, interior just about done and I was starting to put this B pillar back together and I realized uh, since I have that, uh, that unplugged, uh, the seat belt, that's part of the airbag system. So I decided to go ahead and pull the power just to be on the safe side. No need to uh, trip some airbags for no good reason. Don't know if it would actually happen, but I don't want to risk it. So while I'm waiting for that to uh, kind of rest for a little while, uh, I went ahead and I had already put that new tail light in, went ahead and swapped in our other new tail light so they now match. And I gotta say, with this color, man, these smoked lenses, boy, that looks awesome. Loving the look of this. These are factory original Ford parts. Uh, they are standard on some trim levels, like I believe the, the FX2 and the FX4 and the Raptor and maybe a few other things. Uh, but they're also an option that you can buy as an accessory from Ford, and that's what I did here. So I've got genuine Ford parts, but they have that nice smoked look. I will probably switch some LEDs uh, into the lenses at some point, but I really like this OEM but upgraded look. So, took care of the tail lights, went ahead and put uh, our bed cap on here on this side where it was repaired. So that's done, and uh, I'm gonna give it just a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna get in there, finish putting that B pillar together, and the interior is basically done at that point. guys that is where we're gonna wrap this up for today the interior is 100% back together we got our everything in the back installed the seats put back in we got a lights in we got the B pillar put back together all of our doors are put back together and have their panels and their glass uh, and all that good stuff and I uh, even did a few things off camera here, here in the front, like um, adjusted the hood a little bit like we talked about before, got our latch and all that in here. So this thing is flying along, have it so much further than I actually expected to do today. Um, and I'm very excited about that. So in our next video, we'll be able to move on to reassembling the front end. All right, guys, that is where we're gonna wrap it up for today. Made so much progress on the F-150. I hope you're as excited as I am. We've got the front end now to build, and then of course some mods that I've told you about, some that I've told you about and some that I haven't, some exciting things coming, but we are flying through the rebuild here on this F-150. Jack stopped by, helped me get this hood aligned a little bit better and the fender aligned a little bit better, and it's looking great. So I really thank you for joining me today. I hope that you'll go ahead and subscribe if you're not already, and then drop a like on this video, share it if you want, and uh, look forward to the next video coming soon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.